However, at, the point at this point in time, we have the researchers coming from, let's say, outside the community, um, wanting to do research inside a community. So if they really want to do effective, impactful research, they need to include the local partners, uh, research partners, because they know the culture more. They know the root cause of the challenges and the problems. They can anticipate, because they know the culture and the context, what is the better research question, what are the better tools that could be used. Uh, and even those tools, those questions that are posed, they would uh, nuance them, unpack them, and say this question does, it has nothing, that means nothing in this context. They would propose new questions because of their knowledge of the, of the context and the culture. So without them, the research question and the survey and tools used may mean nothing. The dissemination stage is when uh, people share the findings of their study, and that is also uh, where people go wrong most of the time, especially the North partners, because they got the data that they wanted, they just go analyze, write the research papers, and then start presenting it to the relevant fora. That shouldn't be the case. The case should be you sit together, you write the papers together, and if you give them also um, co-authorship, because that's their right to have, and because they have been part of the team from conception until the study data collection has been completed. My name is Mia Perry. I'm the Sustainable Futures co-director with Deepa Pulanikatil. As part of my role, I'm responsible for articulating the vision of the network and representing our work to stakeholders. One challenge I often face is the risk of speaking for others and misrepresenting, for imposing a worldview on peoples and work that don't embody the same. I overcome this challenge by listening more than I speak and by amplifying others' voices and highlighting others' realities next to my own. My name is Deepa Pulanikatil. I co-direct the Sustainable Futures Global Network with Professor Mia Perry. The network to me is like a family of members from various disciplines who are questioning the status quo and exploring new ideas on sustainability for a rapidly changing world. The challenge we face is to balance power and influence in the network when majority of the funding is coming from the global north. We overcame this through a concerted effort to value decision making collectively, encouraging members at country level to share their ideas in shaping the design and implementation of our projects, and through keeping communication lines as open as a close-knit family can be. Hi, my name is Vanessa Duclou, and I'm the Sustainable Futures Global Network Manager, and I'm based in Montreal, Canada. As part of my role, I'm responsible for budget management, and one challenge I often face while supporting ethical and equitable partnerships within the network uh, is ensuring that budgets are managed as flexibly and as fairly as possible, while respecting various levels of agreement for example, with the funders or between institution or even within research teams. I overcome this challenge by being as transparent as possible with my peers in allowing access to agreements, budget reports, and to understand and listen to the different priorities in each context. Tackling inequalities in global health research is at the heart of EDCTP's approach. As a European African Partnership of Equals, we have a 20 year track record of supporting high quality, fair, and equitable clinical research and capacity development in Africa. We interrogate resource and task allocations in our grants and encourage governance arrangements that require distributed leadership with equitable decision making, thus, enabling African led research that addresses the local priorities. Pandora is a one-head multidisciplinary network composed of 22 partner organizations. The strategy we have used to strengthen capacities for the preparedness and the response to infectious diseases outbreaks has been to empower young generation of scientists and to strengthen the links 
with the local stakeholders. The Alert Network has 19 partner organizations from 13 countries. Setting an equitable agenda has enabled us to rapidly initiate research responses to disease outbreaks across Sub-Saharan Africa, including COVID-19. The establishment of research partnerships such as ALERT is essential to ensure a rapid and equitable response to health emergencies. My name is Bestina Daniel. I'm working with Tanzanian Commission for Science and Technology as Senior Research Coordination Officer. During my stay at Costec, I've been involving in coordinating CEDA overall program. As part of implementing this program, there are a number of lessons learned that have been documented regarding to equitable research partnership practice. Through this partnership, CEDA has managed to build the culture of working together between the partners from North and South regardless of different norms and culture. In the case of Costec, the partnership has helped Costec to enhance cost efficiency in implementing the program while ensuring wider impact, enhancing Costec visibilities to stakeholders that led to increased financial support to research and innovation in the country, as well as strengthening knowledge exchange among the implementing team. Despite of the achievements that have been mentioned, there are also challenges that we have faced. The main one was outbreak of COVID-19 that will lead to travel risk in some of the countries. Costec, recognizing the importance of this initiative towards enhancing the quality of research in the country. Therefore, we are recommending on continuing creating awareness for more actors to join the platform, keeping on mobilizing resources to support the program activities, as well as enhance exchange visit among the implementing agents for knowledge sharing and exposure.